What the heck? Good morning guys and welcome back to our channel. Today is kind of rushed and um, our car got stolen. So this morning Garrick and I are just doing our normal routine. Sorry buddy. And um, we go outside and we realize our car isn't there and we're like, hmm, like did you park it somewhere else? Because we only have two parking spots and Garrick and I are like, no. So we realized that it either got stolen or like towed for some reason, which it wouldn't get towed. I don't know why it would get towed. We're in our parking spot. So yeah, I think our car got stolen. Garrick's outside talking to the cops right now. Yeah, so he's out there right now talking to them. And I look a mess, I'm sorry, but I really hope that we can get this figured out because I'm supposed to be in Atlanta this weekend and then Orlando the next weekend. Wilder's car seat was in there, so we are gonna have to get a new car seat. I don't know if we're gonna have to get a new car. This just, this just really sucks right now. So we just called all of the like towing places and the place where we got the car and nobody has hey. taken it. I mean, nobody has taken it, nobody has towed it. Um, so someone definitely stole it, which is number one, super scary because it had to have been like in the middle of the night. And our car is a 2017, so it has like, like it automatically locks and it has like the car alarms or whatever. So like I, whoever did it must have been really smart that just that really sucks it's like like i don't know what we're gonna do with one car i don't know i'm just kind of jumping on here vlogging with all of like my first time emotions so i'm sorry if i'm just all over the place but it really does suck wilder's just playing with his water table while we wait what are we waiting for babe the report but there's cameras outside so hopefully They'll be able to, we'll be able to look at the camera footage and they'll be able to tell like who stole the car, but the truck was like blocking the view of it conveniently. So I don't know. All right guys, so the car did get stolen, but I'm gonna go outside and pretend to my dad that it didn't get stolen because I know it'll be, he'll have a good reaction to that. So I'm gonna go do that. Dad, so the car didn't actually get stolen. What? It's right around the corner. No. Yeah. That wasn't really a cop. You're lying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I couldn't even do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that wouldn't be right. That wouldn't yeah. be right. <laughs> okay, so just a little update. Wilder is up now. He um, took a little nap, and thank God he did while we were trying to like figure out everything. So it turns out my wallet and Garrick's wallet were both in the car, and we just realized that after we kind of realized that the car was stolen. So we had to call and cancel our cards, and we can't go get a new card until Tuesday because Monday is President's Day. And we don't carry much cash around at all, so we basically are SOL. Sorry, I'm like looking outside. I'm like super sketched out now. Um, but yeah, anyways, an update. So we're kind of SOL, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. I'm trying to be like the positive one in this situation because Garrett can sometimes get really overwhelmed. Don't get me wrong. I am very overwhelmed and stressed out now too, but you have to find light in every situation. You have to find positivity, although there's not really much light in this situation. There, You have to be positive and it's all about your mindset. Bless you. That's something that Garrick is working on and it can just be sometimes a little harder for him So I've been trying to be like the positive person in this situation, but it is difficult anyways So Garrick has left to go to the police station and that is because they found our car um, Probably about 25 miles away from us. It was two guys that had our car. The police told him don't bring your wife and kids because apparently the car is like completely destroyed and they have to go through it and stuff. And I'm sure check for like um, illegal things and stuff in the car. So the kicker out of all of this guys is that the two guys that stole our car, they're trying to tell the police that um, Garrick gave them a set of keys like they work together or something or some story that's obviously not true um, Because Garrick told the cop originally when we were making the report that we had both set of keys because we thought we did Now we're realizing that we don't we normally keep one set of keys hidden and one set of keys on the key holder and the hidden place the keys weren't there so 99% positive that 
there was a set of keys in the car because one set of our keys has our house key on them and the other set doesn't and i think one day garrick didn't have the house key so he grabbed the extra set of keys i don't know i'm pretty sure one set of the keys ended up in the car somehow in like the glove box or something so the cops are now questioning like why did you tell us that you had both set of keys when you didn't which obviously garrick didn't know like our car just got stolen and his head is like all over the place and we're stressed out and we thought we had both set of keys you know so that's another thing that's kind of stressing me out. I don't even know if we can get our vehicle. Um, I don't know like the process and stuff. I'm just kind of updating you guys on what I know right now. I don't know, I just hope the cops don't think that like Garrick is doing something wrong, which why would he when we're the ones that called the cops? But still in their eyes, they think that Garrick has lied, if that makes sense. Because he said that we have both key sets. I don't know. I just really hope that this gets resolved because I just, I'm stressed. Okay guys, so I'm back from getting the car. You got the car. Got the so car back. Good. So yeah, they stole the car seat. And Hazel's car seat base. They actually sucks. stole uh, my baby blanket, which they probably just threw all that stuff out. Like they probably just threw it out. But that is sad. Like, like we were gonna pass that down to them. Supplies from work. Yeah. They threw out, they cut the car seat out. They cut literally the straps and the straps are still in there from being cut. But we're just grateful that we have the car. Like, yeah. thank God we have the car and we don't have to get a new one or whatever we were going to do. We don't have to do. Yeah. So that's good. But we were literally going to film a new intro today. Like, and now we, we can't do that because it's too late. Yeah, literally this whole day was ruined. Yeah. So now we're just going to have a family night, which doesn't bother me. But now we're going to have a family night and eat some dinner, watch a movie. And just relax. And just relax. But yeah. Bye. <laughs> That has been how our day has gone so far. I'm sorry I haven't like, yeah, like been <laughs> vlogging much today. It's just been a lot. We've had to call the card companies. Oh, and that's another thing. Um, we don't have access to our money, like I said. So good thing we have a little bit of cash, but still we're kind of SOL until Tuesday. Yep. But yeah, that's what's been happening. That's what's been happening. Cracking and break it up, suck it up, bag it up. I'm moving the camera, y'all love it. Mm hmm. Hey, my babies. Shh, no, no, it's okay. No, no. I can, I can come right down. I can no. because I love you. No, I need you. I did it. I kiss you. No. Got it. You tried to sneak it away from me, but I got it. Oh, she gave you one back. Hazel is not feeling too good. Her tummy is upset. So she is a little fussy tonight, as you can probably hear in the background. I think she's just having, like, normal newborn gas pains. Yeah. Yep, gas pains from a baby girl. It's not fun. It's something we definitely went through with Wilder. So, Wilder is in bed. We're still trying to kind of figure out this whole car getting stolen thing Zoe's wallet was stolen and that's just something I don't know I, I just have this weird feeling that we could be or she could be targeted for some reason um just because they didn't take my wallet for one and they didn't know that she looked that she lived here so maybe they saw her wallet or saw her ID in her wallet and maybe um are planning on coming back. That's just a scary thought that I thought of, and I know that that's a very real thing, so we've just been kind of sketched out about the whole situation. Tonight we kind of just feel weird. I don't know, it feels weird being home when somebody just literally stole our car right in front of us. And I just feel like if I would have caught them or something, it could have went a whole different way. It just ran out in the process or whatnot. So I don't know, I just kind of just thinking about the whole thing. Obviously we know that it could be worse, but it still sucks. A lot of things were taken from the car. And the more I think about what was in the car, the more I realize what's missing. It sucks for sure. But we are super thankful that nobody got hurt. The car is in pretty much the same shape as it was when they took it. But it does make you think though, like what type of people would steal your car? The type of people in that- In your driveway. In your driveway. The type of, the same type of people that will break into your home or steal your kids off the front. It's the same group of people. And whether or not these particular people 
do those things, those are their they fit traits. right in with the yeah. traits of those type of people. They go they go along in with the same category, so that's why it makes us a little nervous whether or not people like that plan on coming back or whatever. But we locked and loaded. Okay guys, so we are going to bed. So we actually already fell asleep a little bit ago. I was rocking Hazel, or actually bouncing her in her bouncer. She's delirious right now. So yeah, we're going to bed. So, anyways. <laughs> I don't know, babe. I don't think so. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And tickle you that little notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already. And anyways, stay tuned for next video.